Yeah, my name's Anthony Brown. I'm the director of Connor Brown. I opened the gallery in 1985. We, we specialise in 20th century art. We mainly focused on the, the very end of the 19th century into the beginning of the 20th century. I, I just like to focus on three works. Um, the first is a really extraordinary portrait by Toulouse Lautrec. The woman that he's portrayed, who is a courtesan, I mean, we, we know that uh, she's been in a number of his famous paintings, she is in yellow, red, and green. I mean, that, the, he, he's just taken those primary colours and made such a modern, extraordinary portrait. Um, and he's thinned the background, so it's on cardboard, it's on poor materials, the thin background, but the really intense colours. And the other thing we forget about Toulouse-Lautrec is actually he died when he was 36. I mean, he died younger than Van Gogh. So it's quite rare to get a great work to come out and onto the market and for us to be able to show it. The second work that I, I wanted to talk about was a sculpture by uh, Balthazar Lolo. His, his work is really looking at the female figure and the mother and child figure, but he abstracts them. So he learned what he has from Brancusi and, and from Arp and from Laurent. And he abstracts the female figure to the, to the nth degree. I mean, there, there is just a, a simple abstract beauty there. And that leads me on to the third work that I, I wanted to talk about. And that is a sculpture by the British artist, Lynn Chadwick. And this is a work from uh, 56. So the same year as he won the Venice Biennale. This work is actually from that year. And whereas Lobo was very interested in the surfaces, the beautiful patinas, well, what Chadwick did was said, this is nonsense. And there, there's a sort of sexual imagery between these figures, and there's a rawness to them. You see the insides of them. 